Hey guys, this is Josh here with DesireTutorials.com. Right now I'm going to show you how to do some cool stuff with Colorbox in Drupal 8. And I'll just flash in a preview right now. So here's what we're going to be trying to do, guys. I know it looks stupid right now, but that's okay. So this is an actual uh, field inside a content type that has the Colorbox pop-up, which is really easy to do because all you have to do is just install the Colorbox module by itself. And here's a field, in, or just a uh, content inside the body that has the color box module pop up. So if we edit this page, we see the field down here with the color box applied to it. And here's the actual image inside the content with the color box and the IMCE module applied to it. And that's pretty cool. So I'll show you how to do that um, once I come back. Alright guys, so the first thing we have to do to make that work is get some modules. So the first thing we want to do is come to Colorbox. And there's a couple things with Colorbox. If you just get just this module, which I'll open up in a new tab, it'll, um, it'll work for your views and your content types without all the other crap we're about to get. So we're going to oh, no, open up in a new tab. And there's one library you need for this, and it's right here. Um, that little guy, I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it. Then that goes in your library's color box folder. Then don't worry about that. Um, and that just goes in your root. But the first thing we want for um, this one is we're also going to want this module. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to copy the color box link location. And this one by itself will work for the views and the content types. So let's install that one real quick. So we'll come to our extend. We're going to install. We're working from a fresh install, so we're making sure everything works the way it should work. So we're going to install. Install another module. And with this one, we're also going to need this module. So I'm going to open that up in a new tab. So I'm going to copy the link location of both those modules, and we're going to install them. Alright, so we need one more module, actually. And this is just for the file upload. So you come to your project, IMCE. It's a really convenient module for uploading files. Alright, now we're ready to turn these on once this uh, installs. Let's enable our modules. So here's the color box, and then here's the IMCE. If you turn just this, oh, just this color box, oh crap, whoops. If you turn just this color box load on by itself, or the uh, NG light box uh, module on by itself, you'll get a big error, I noticed, but it doesn't ruin anything, and the modules just don't work. So we're going to turn all those on. Then we have to add a, a library that we downloaded to our actual site root. So with that, those are all on. Now we come to our C panel, and inside our actual um, site root, which is where my actual site is, we're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna call it libraries. Then inside of that folder. We'll make a folder called color box. Just good. And inside of there we want to actually upload our um, thing we just downloaded for the library. 
that's right there. And if you don't have this uploaded, there's a way you can tell on your website. You just go to your reports and your um, status reports, and there will be an error for color box here if it's not uploaded right. Yeah, color box library is not installed. There's some other, like this error, I show how to fix in my other video, and then, I don't know where the other one's at, but there's a couple errors I'll show you how to fix. So, um, oh, it's already enabled, that's why. So with that uh, uploaded, we're going to just unzip it, and move the files, and then it's ready to roll, and that error should go away. So click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, and move the files. Now when we refresh this page, that color box error should disappear. And so now it's just our trusted host, but i show you how to fix that in the uh, other video. So with that, we're pretty much done in here. Now we can um, get moving. So first, let's add a content type. And I'm going to show you how just the color box module works by itself. We'll come to our content types. We're going to add a new content type. I'll name it. And then description, just test. So that's all good. I don't care about anything else in here. So now we want to um, manage um, fields. So we want to add a field. So under our uh, use an existing field, we can just pick image. So we're going to save that. And all this doesn't matter. I mean, you can play with that if you want, but color box will take care of everything. And you can have these all enabled too, but I'm just going to get rid of them. Now we're going to manage our display for that image. This is where color box comes into play. So I'll just hide the, uh, the label. Then now you want to select color box. And this is where you um, can actually play with it. So image formatter, I'll pick the 100 by 100. Then the uh, other one uh, will be the original image. So we'll update that. And now we're fine from there. So we'll save it. Say you wanted different um, displays for the original um, format. You come to configuration, and then image styles somewhere. I don't know where that's at. Image styles. And so here, here's where you adjust those, and you can play with those yourself. Um, so now we can add a content. Well, actually, first, just kidding. We're going to update our uh, CK editor with the IMC uh, module that we just added. So we come to um, text and formats. And for the full HTML is the one that we're going to be using. So we're going to configure it. And these are our, I enabled, oh, these are our IMCE ones. I guess I already added them before, so it just knew to do it. So those are the ones, the IMCE uh, modules that they would be up here and you bring them down into your, um, your actual tools. But they're already there. Let me just see. I'm going to clear my caches and refresh the page and see if they're still there. Clearing your caches will fix a lot of errors that you end up getting. So let's refresh it. Yeah, so they are still there. But normally, um, before I had to actually... Um, pull them down here and I made a color box place for them to go into. But that's okay. So let's add some content to that new content type we just made. So add content. We're going to do our color box test. Same with color box and then test. Doesn't matter. And then we're going to browse an image. This is where IMCE uh, will come into handy too. I guess not so much, but it's mainly, I'm not sure how to make it work right here right now, but I'll figure it out. So we'll just put this one in there. We're going to save it. 
So that's what I got is the 100 by 100. Then when you click on it, that's what happens. So that's easy to do. But now let's edit the page and let's actually add it to an image that we're just putting in line in text. So the problem here is it's on basic HTML. So we're going to make it full HTML. Yeah, whatever. Um, there's our test. I'm going to put two returns and I'll add our breaks in there. If you go to your source, you can see them. And then um, let's add an image. So we come to here to our, this is our IMCE browser. So we'll click that. And now we're in our root right here. So let's just add a folder to our root. Let's call it um, color blocks or box test. And create. You can change all the permissions for this IMCE uploader and everything too. And you can find YouTube's on how to do that. Um, so now we're going to go inside this folder. We're going to upload an image. So add file. I got an icon version of this. We're going to add that one. And we'll double click that to select it. So there we go. Now there's nothing really going on with this. It can't do nothing. But now if we click it and click on this link, it's going to allow us to insert a, a link for it. But the original image always has you upload new images every time instead of browsing your server. So we're going to click that. We're going to upload an image. We'll add file. And I'll add a different image for it. Uh, we'll add, not that one. We'll add this one. Then that's going to be my link for it. And if you come to your source, this is where the magic happens. So we come to our source and we find our link, which is our ahref right here. This is all you're pretty much looking for. And in here you want to actually add class equals in quotes color box. And you need all three of those modules to make this one work. So we're going to save. So here's our one that um, just is a uh, field on the actual content type. And here's our test. And that's how that works. So it's pretty cool. And it took a while to actually figure out how to make that all work. And let me show you the IMCE one. So now say we wanted to just um, change this. You just click it. Image. And now it brings us right to that folder. But say you want to change it via the uh, original. You click that. And now it brings up a bunch of uh, uploaded new image. But under your configuration, there's an IMC file manager. And this is where you actually can edit um, what they can do. So administrator can, uh, can do it or whatever. I don't know too much about it, but you can set limits and different things about what folders they have access to and what everything they're allowed to do. So it's pretty convenient. You can play with that. And I hope that was helpful for you guys, okay?